Hey guys, it's Eve and we're back again. We are now 11 weeks out and I say we because you guys are definitely on this journey with me to the stage. Um, I'm 11 weeks out from my show. My first show is October 14th in Gle Cleveland and my second show is going to be about 15 weeks out in Indianapolis, Indiana. Both of them are natural shows which are drug tested through the NPC. Um, so this week I'm going to go over four items for you guys and I'm going to be covering um, energy, uh, my supplements, my food, and my physique for this a week, this week 11, for this week 11 update. So one, energy. So um, energy has definitely been less. Um, I haven't cut my food a whole, whole bunch from what I was doing on my mini cut, but now that I have like the mental battle of getting to the stage, I think it's having a huge impact um, on my energy levels and on my fatigue. So I'm working out the same number of days um, and I am now just working more effectively and more hard and harder. So when I go in and I work out in the gym, it isn't just like, all right, do my bicep curls. Okay, okay, do my back row. I'm thinking about each muscle movement as I do them as I go. So when I'm doing my back, I'm thinking about my scapula retracting. Um, when I'm doing my hamstrings, I'm like thinking about um, my glutes squeezing. Like I think about every rep as like another step of getting closer to a better physique for the stage. I'm not just going in and doing the motions. Um, I am to the point now that I am an athlete, so I can air squat all day. So I could do, you know, 100, 150 air squats, but there's a difference between just doing them mindlessly and then doing them to the point where you're actually contracting the muscles so that you get that mind-muscle connection to um, get the muscle to actually be stimulated and grow more. Um, that's definitely a tip for me to you, for you guys to try when you're doing a lot of the movements. Think about the muscle squeezing and relaxing and you get a more effective workout. So now that I am in that um, mindset of getting my body to a better place quicker. Um, there's definitely more fatigue. The workouts are more challenging. I am lifting on a five day split. I am doing um, five to six days of 15 to 20 minutes of cardio per day. So I really haven't upped it up since week um, 12, but I'm doing about 15 to 20 minutes each day, taking one day off if not off, that day's like an active rest day. So like I, you know, I'm pulling weeds, working in the yard, whatever, running a bunch of errands, but I'm making sure that there is one full day every seven days. And I recommend this to all my clients that I am not lifting at all. Um, but my energy has been, um, really depleted because the food is a little bit less, the workouts are more demanding, and there's not really a day where I can wake up and be like, oh, I feel tired, I'm just gonna do a couple of exercises in the gym. No, I am on my way to the stage, and I can't just let my you know, emotions and my stress and my fatigue get in the way. Like, you have to keep pushing when you are trying to do something as athletic as this nature, for you to get to the stage. Like your feelings and sometimes your pain does not matter. Um, the physique that you get to for the stage is temporary. Uh, what I'm doing is not something that is maintainable, um, sustainable, or healthy. This is basically to push myself to the utmost limit for the stage and that's it. So that's why my energy is like really, really crazy. All right, guys, so food updates. So the food has not been bad at all. My macros did not change from week 12 to week 11. Um, some days I found myself trying to like cram my food in at the end of the night, and some days I was counting down to the next meal. Um, I'm eating five to six meals per day, and I am um, still flexible dieting. I typically do 80-20. Um, right now it's more like 85-90 to 10 to 15 just because I could make the choice to have um, more foods that are not as not not as nutritious. Like for example, my favorite, these Lenny Larry um, Lenny and Larry Snickerdoodle cookies. I love these, but when I eat half of it, 
It's 27 carbs. There's two fiber, um, or sorry, yeah, there's 27 carbs, four fiber, and eight protein. But I could get um, more food out of eating, you know, a salad and fish and a potato or something on the side than this. But this is still part of my 10 to 15% on prep for just variety and mental sanity. Um, but some days I'm really hungry, some days I'm not. Um, I typically do not go longer than three-ish hours without eating unless I'm working out. Um, I'm still hydrating um, 128 ounces or a gallon of water every single day. I'm eating a minimum of two servings of vegetables throughout the day to help aid with digestion because you get all of those micronutrients you get the antioxidants that you need and you're also getting fiber i don't do a lot of fruit i'm not a big fruit person um, i'd rather my carbs come from things like um, red potatoes sweet potatoes waffle fries which i love oatmeal wraps and then like whole grain bread but i do like doing blueberries in my oatmeal so that is one thing that i changed this week um, i went back to adding carb uh, oatmeal as a carb source instead of more um, potatoes and grains that weren't oats so i added those in blueberries help you um, with skin elasticity and they're also good for anti-aging and for antioxidants. So the blueberries had to go in. Um, I'm eating all meats. Occasionally I'll have beef. My fat is not high, but I'm eating ground turkey, ground chicken breast, chicken breast, tilapia, um, some salmon. I think that's everything. The only thing that I have not had in a while is shrimp and I love shrimp. I just haven't bought it. Okay, so supplements. Um, a separate video will be done on this, but I am taking the Collagen Beauty Booster every day to help with cellulite and skin elasticity because you guys know I've lost 150 pounds and my skin um, is definitely at a disadvantage getting on the stage and I want my skin to be as smooth and as tight as possible. And then it also helps with the dieter face because um, your face gets really, really skinny on prep and I'm starting to lean out from the top down. I'm taking my multivitamin every single day no matter what as much as I can remember to take it um, I'm taking my Herbalife um, Herbalife line supplement every day um, it's got omega fatty acids EHA and DHA which are all heart healthy um, fats and they help you poop and I, I know a lot of people do not want to talk about pooping um, but competitors when you get lower carb and you've got all this protein coming in um, the oil in your um, supplements whether it be fish oil or whatever it helps to get things through so um, I take that also for recovery inflammation everything so I take that multivitamin every day I also take branch chain amino acids, um, one to two servings per day. And if it has CLA in it, conjugated linoleic acid, which is a non-stimulant fat burner, which is the one of the um, top two supplements I recommend for my clients. If that CLA is in the drink, I won't take a CLA tablet, which is made from safflower oil, um, but I will have that as well. And then the last supplement um, that I'm re religiously taking, in addition to the Herbalife Cell Activator, which has micronutrients and aloe, is I am taking L-glutamine. So L-glutamine I either take as a tablet or I get it in my BCAs or my Herbalife um, Rebuild Strength Shake. And what it does is it helps with muscle recovery. It also helps to prevent the breaking down of muscle. So if you guys follow me, you know that my upper body um, will come in faster than my lower body, meaning it will get leaner and shred fat faster than my lower body and I carry lots of weight in my butt and in my hips and thighs. Um, so by taking the L-glutamine, it pre preserves the breakdown of this muscle um, so that I'm not getting too skinny on top and I'm kind of holding out with my muscle on top while the bottom catches up. Um, so I take one to two servings of that per day 
um, very safe it's a, actually a natural natural occurring supplement that is in you know foods that you eat it's just in higher quantities in this tablet to help you not lose muscle so it's not a bulker it's not a muscle gain thing there's like no testosterone no steroids it helps you it helps to keep you from breaking the muscle down um, and this supplement is probably in about 70% of protein shakes so if you guys see it on the label of your protein shake and your BCAs definitely know that it is um, a very popular and safe supplement to take. All right, you guys, update on my physique. Of course, that's always the most important part because I can tell you all day about what's going inside my body but the outside is what basically is presented when I get on stage so weight is still holding at 133 but I can definitely feel that my um, body weight is going to drop soon when you get very in tune with your body you can tell when you're gonna have a whoosh which is like a quick fat loss of like two to three pounds and it typically happens when your fat cells have been depleted of fat from your exercise and your consistency on your diet and in my case counting macros and then you, you're feeling lighter but you don't see the scale move so what is happening is the fat comes the fat is almost the fat cells pierced and the fat comes out and instead of that fat cell completely depleting which means you'll show the weight on the scale go down water will rush into that cell and you'll have lost fat but water will then re um, will re-enter the cell and fill out the composition of what that cell was originally like and the scale is going to stay the same. So you have fat cells that don't have fat but they have water in them and you have to keep pushing, stay on your plan, stay on your macros and typically three to five days after that you will have that whoosh effect and then that water will come out of your body and you'll see the scale drop. So I'm very confident that I'll be hitting um, 131 or so this week and then hopefully I'll be peaking into the 120s in the next couple weeks. But again, I go um, off of my body fat percentage and my muscle mass for my progress, my pictures, my inches before the scale because the scale won't give you an a, a accurate indicator of where you are actually um, going and what your progress is. It's just one factor to kind of aid in where you um, are headed but I'm seeing more cuts I'm seeing more lines I can see my oblique lines in the morning um, at night I can still see my abs faintly um, but they're getting more defined which means that layer of fat in between my abs and my skin is getting thinner and thinner so I'm really excited about how I'm looking. Um, I can be totally honest with you that I'm not interested in losing my butt but it's going to happen. I spent a lot of my off season building my butt up, but oh well, you know, all good things must eventually come to an end. But that's pretty much um, it for a update on my progress. Well, thank you guys for joining in for this week 11 update. I can't wait to see you guys next week and update you on how week 10 went. So if you want to continue to keep watching, um, also do me a favor and hit like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.